For this problem, we're asked to find the critical value for a hypothesis test with a null hypothesis, which states that mu is at least 7, that is, greater than or equal to 7. The sample size is 17, and we're told that alpha is 5%. Since the null hypothesis is mu greater than or equal to 7, the alternative hypothesis would be mu is less than 7. This means that we are performing a left tail test because the inequality sign in the alternative hypothesis points to the left. Furthermore, we know that the sample size n is equal to 17, which is 30 or less, so therefore we will be doing this hypothesis test using the student t distribution as opposed to the normal distribution. The answer to our problem lies in the body of the table entitled t distribution critical t values. First, we need to decide which column of the table we'll be using. To answer that question, we need to know if this alpha is an area in one or two tails, and if it is an area in one tail, is it an area in the left tail or in the right tail? And since the symbol in the alternative hypothesis points to the left, we know that this is an area in one tail and that it's a left tail test, which means that the critical value t, our answer, is going to be negative. Since the alpha is 5%, that means that the area in one tail will be 5%, and we'll be using the second column from the right for this particular question. Next, we need to decide which of the rows under the degrees of freedom heading we'll be using. And to make that decision, we need to know that the degrees of freedom is equal to n, the sample size, minus 1. So that in this case, the degrees of freedom will be 16. So to find our answer, the critical value, we need to scroll down the t-table until we come to the row corresponding to 16 degrees of freedom. If we look across the row for 16 degrees of freedom and down the column labeled area in one tail 5%, we come to the value 1.746. However, since this is a left tail test, we know that our answer will be negative 1.746 for this problem. Now if we look at a completely different problem, but very closely related to the last problem, a problem in which the null hypothesis is mu is at most 7, that is less than or equal to 7, that would mean that the inequality symbol in the alternative hypothesis would point to the right, so that the area alpha would still be in one tail, except it would now be in the right tail, because this is now a right tail test, as determined by the greater than symbol in the alternative hypothesis. Now, in using the critical t value table, everything would be exactly the same as the last problem, that is, the area in one tail would still be 5%, the degrees of freedom would still be 16. The only difference is that this would be a right tail test because the inequality symbol greater than in the alternative hypothesis points to the right so that our critical value would be positive and our answer would be positive 1.746. Lastly, in another different but closely related question in which everything remains the same except this time the null hypothesis contained the equal sign, which means that the alternative hypothesis would be the not equal to symbol. Not equal to can be interpreted as less than or greater than. So therefore, the alternative hypothesis in this problem means that we'll be using the column for the area in two tails being 5%. So that alpha is shared equally in the two tails, with 2.5% two being the area in one tail so that we will use the middle column and then scroll down the degrees of freedom column until we come to 16, the sample size minus 1, and the critical value will be 2.120. However, that critical value has to be shared in two tails so that the 2.120 will be the critical value found on the left and right on the x-axis. The answer will have both a positive and negative sign. To input a positive and negative symbol in the MyClassText answer template, we need to go to the division symbol 
on the toolbar, click on the little arrow found in the lower right, and select out the positive and negative symbol, and now follow that with the 2.120 found in the critical value t-table.